Hey guys, how's it going? So I just got this new vintage record player from Amazon. As you can see, it is uh, pretty cool. Uh, it does look like it was made um, from like the 1950s, so that's something that I really liked about this product. Um, not only are you going to be able to play records, but you're also going to be able to use your Bluetooth from your phone or be able to connect any type of music device that you own. So if you do not own any records, but you still like the look of a record player, you can absolutely use this as well. However, um, today I am going to show you how we are going to use this as a record player. This record player is going to have a three speed turntable and it can also convert 33 by one third. 45 or 78 RPM vinyl records. It's going to be supporting the universal sizes. You're gonna have seven inches, 10 inches, as well as 12 inches, or any other size of record on the full size platter. This record player is also gonna have the built-in stereo system speakers. It's going to give you that decent sound, but it's also gonna allow you to go back in time so you can rediscover the uncompressed vinyl music. And like I said before, it's also going to have a built-in Bluetooth receiver allowing you to connect your phone, which is going to be awesome if you do not own any records or if you do not have enough records, you're still going to be able to utilize and enjoy the look of this record player. This device is also going to allow you to convert your vinyl records to a USB, allowing you to be able to utilize digital tracks. So that way you can play it back on your computer at a later date if you would like. You'll receive a CD along with the directions that will be able to provide you all the directions on how to convert your vinyls to your USB. As we begin to unpackage this vinyl record player, you'll be able to see that it's going to give you that solid wood appearance that is also going to be included with a protective dust cover so that way you don't have to worry about your records or anything scratching up. So let's go ahead and get started by playing a record. So what you're going to do is you're going to remove the black cover, as you can see I just did below. Take a look at it all the way through. As you can see, it's going to be pretty solid. It's going to give you a couple information about the record player. And then as I flip it over on the back, you're going to have your options on whether you want to do your USB or any other type of imports. Here is going to be your dust cover. As you can see, it's going to be easily able to slide on. All you need to do is just line it up with the metal pieces in the back, and then you are good to go. You'll easily be able to open and close it at any given time. And again, I always suggest closing it when you do have your record playing to keep from any dust particles getting on your record. Off to the side, you'll see that you do have the extra cords. This is what we're going to be utilizing to plug in our record player to give it power. And then here are your other options if you want to add that USB converter or anything other than what we're currently going to be using. After you plug in your record player, you're going to use this nozzle right here and you're going to turn it on. And this button right here is also going to control your volume. You're going to look for the button to be red. That's when you know you're going to be utilizing the record, not anything else. If that does not work, all you need to do is just push this button over on the right hand side that says PH or BT and wait for the button to turn red and then you are good to go. You know you're going to be playing the record. And here's the moment that we've all been waiting for. As you can see, I did choose a record. Um, today I picked Bruno Mars because everyone likes Bruno Mars. Once you decide that you're going to place it on, you're going to use this little nozzle just to make sure that your record stays nice and secure. From here, we're going to lift up our nose and then we are just going to place it on top of the record once it starts spinning you know that you're going to be able to play and listen to the song Again, you guys, this is going to be the record player that I got from Amazon. It's going to give you a variety of different options. You can use the record. You can choose not to use your record. Either way, this is going to be a great gift or it's going to be a perfect addition to your house, especially if you love all things vintage. And right here, I am controlling the speed of the sound, which is going to be for different record RPMs. So far, this record player has been a great addition to our house, and I'm so happy that I have it. Get yourself one, you won't regret it.